The idea of pushing down to, to prevent a force in this direction. Think about this, you got 90 degrees between pushing down and the force you're trying to resist. Whereas by pushing on the opposite side, the forces are now parallel to each other. If I were to put this surface here, leather, or suede as the case may be, and you have a leather glove on in your hand, we can suddenly see that that's gonna be kind of slippery, right? I can easily push that thing out from underneath, no matter how hard you push, it would be pretty easy for me to do that. But look at this for a second. If I wrap this around the steering wheel and I do the same ridiculous 90 degrees of force comparison here, to do that in order, if it's wrapped all the way around, that pushing down now is a squeezing, okay? So what you're doing is you're relying on just purely the friction between your hand and the glove, or I should say your glove and the steering wheel, in order to turn it. Because if you relaxed your grip, your hand would slide across it, okay? So as ridiculous as it seems to, to push down on the surface here for me to prevent that from sliding, for you trying to prevent that from sliding, that would be the same as you squeezing the steering wheel in order to turn it. It seems ridiculous in the case of the brick, but yet for some reason it doesn't seem ridiculous in the case of the steering wheel. And it has to do with what's called a paradigm. And it happens since birth. Since the moment you came out of the womb and mama came up and put a bottle in your mouth and you, that bottle, she puts your hand on it and you grab it and it falls out. Mama then picks up the bottle, she puts it back in your mouth and what does she do? She closes your fingers on it tighter. So if ever since birth, you are trained to relate increased grip tension with more control. Think about that for a second. Ever since birth, since the moment you came out of the womb, mama trains you to squeeze something harder, you have more control. And I'm here to tell you right now, to have more control in the car, you want to relax your grip. It's 180 degrees opposite. And we're gonna talk about why that is today. And guess what, that's where these come in. <laughs> and I'm sure everybody's trying to figure this out. Okay.